Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial where I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. So today we're going to learn how to use the freeform pen tool but with the magnetic function checked. And to me, this should be a whole new tool where you don't, so you can uh, select it easier. But um, this is how you do it. It transforms the pen tool into a magnetic vector path drawing tool, basically. So go ahead and upload an uh, import an image or open one that is has pretty clear defined um, edges from the background. Um, what I did is I just added this image here. It uh, has uh, no background and then I put it over top of this uh, other layer. So make sure you have your uh, layer selected. Select your freeform pen tool and make sure this magnetic is checked. Now all you need to do is make sure you are uh, somewhat zoomed in so you can see the edges and you want to have the uh, whole object in screen because once you click you can't stop until you close your shape it's just so you know so go ahead and click near the edge of your object and I click there and I'm not even holding down just drag your mouse around and it will go right to the edge of your image so this is really easy and fast you don't even have to be like super precise now we're coming up to a point where there is a kind of a sharp edge if I come over here you can see that it hasn't made a point yet you can click with your mouse and it'll create a point for you and then you can continue now, if I don't click, you can see what's going to happen here. Uh, right below my mouse right now, you can see that it's not perfectly aligned. And if I try to go like this around the edges, and right there again, you see it's not perfectly aligned. That's what happens if you don't click. So um, use that clicking to your advantage to make some nice uh, sharp edges. Now, it's probably not going to click here, so I'm going to make my own same down here and then you can come and to your edge where it the uh, cursor turns into a circle underneath the magnet and click and you have closed your shape now if you need to come back in use your direct selection tool and you can zoom in and edit the areas here where where it didn't quite go in right so here I would change the bezier handles and drag them out so that they went inside there nicely and you can see you might have to do some fixing up and stuff like that like this this garbage right here that doesn't look right so I'll just uh, try to fix that it's hard to see because the points are black and the edge is black maybe I should zoom out a little bit it's still kind of hard to see but um, you should get the idea. If I turn this off, you can see that there is a path. And in my path section, there is a work path there. And uh, that's how you create a new path. And, and uh, using the man magnetic selection tool, you're going to want to use it uh, along an image that's already there if you need to trace. So that's how you create a path off of an image that you already have. And I wanted to show you another thing. We're just going to make anything here. So I'm going to click and drag and make something. So if you want to just automatically close your shape, you can just double click and it'll close your shape for you, creating uh, the rest of the line the rest of the way there. And if you don't make a new uh, layer when you're working on your paths, it's going to add it to the same one. So um, that's how you use your magnetic tool to create paths. There's our path. And remember that when you're uh, create, uh, aligning up the points and stuff like that, you can click with your mouse, uh, left click, and it will make a point for you. And that's how you get around those uh, sharp edges and everything like that. So thanks for watching this one. Hopefully you guys got another trick up your sleeve to use when you're making paths. So see you guys later, and have a good one.